In my last review, I reviewed WarioWare Get It Together. And I said this. This could be played with two people at the same time. I was never able to test with two people, but the little reviewer and littlest reviewer both played it together. And they said they enjoyed it, but they really hated some of the characters and it got old pretty quick. After the video was uploaded, the little reviewer messaged me to say I was wrong on what he thought about the multiplayer. To be fair, I was going off a memory of something told to me in passing as I got home from working. So I wanted to do this video to clear up his thoughts on the matter. I will go over all his points and let you know what he thought of it. As I mentioned to you before, the multiplayer was very fun and very chaotic. Figuring out how to work together to beat games was pretty fun. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe he's a little young for that voice. Can you believe that he's now 21 years old? I mean, listen to the way he first started. This game is really fun. It's not bad. It's fun. And get it now. Or if you hate it, don't. I sometimes forget he isn't the kid who made that video. When we started this channel, he was eight years old. So let's try that again. As I mentioned to you before, the multiplayer was very fun and very chaotic. Figuring out how to work together to beat games was pretty fun. Like I mentioned in the review, I never had the chance to play this with anyone else. So I'm sorry if you thought I said it got dull. I'm not sure where I got that from. Story mode is more of a means to get all of the characters and let you replace the stages with new characters. For example, if you like Nintendo games, you can see how long you can last doing those. I understand, but I really wish it was done better. It felt like it really was only there to make you try out the new characters, and not as much about the games that you were playing. And a good deal of the new characters sucked, which makes it even less fun. Boss stages though are pretty lame, you're right on that. They mainly exist to break up the pacing, which is why they're so slow. In a high score run, they only happen three times. Afterwards, it only speeds up. We totally agree on this one. Why couldn't they just not make it dull? How about using some of that creativity that I occasionally saw in the micro mini games? The party modes are fun, but kinda janky. But it fits WarioWare, so I like it. The air hockey one is the best. Wario Cup is literally the best feature they've added to the WarioWare. Even with its weird play-to-win aspects, some of the rules are very fun. Surprisingly, it lacks a gimmick stage. This is not an extremely noteworthy point, but I'm sure surprised they didn't make at least a couple touchscreen minigames. I think that's because they wanted to make this accessible to everyone. and wanted to make a party game that you just really didn't need to use the touchscreen to use. They really wanted this on the TV so anybody could play, so the touchscreen just wasn't useful. The game definitely has more significant polish than the previous entries. Seriously, seeing the old games is kind of weird. For only $10 more, it's $50 instead of $40 for the normal handheld entries. It definitely feels like it was worth the upgrade. That's where I disagree, and I think I made that clear in the review. I don't think it's worth $50. I don't even think it's worth $30. A rental feels like the correct score. The gameplay is so short, and even the real mini games this thing had to offer got old really quick. But to be fair though, it likely would have been way more fun with two people and not just the computer. But I do think rental is the right score for this. But I do understand your points as well. Thanks again, little reviewer.